useful tools within Business Center relate to calculation and billing. So for those users in the German market, there's REB compliant data can be exported from Business Center. And in the Norwegian market, the SOSI reporting is now available within Business Center. For those using takeoff workflows, it's possible to calculate volumes of material on site utilizing the Material and Site Improvement Manager. This allows you to calculate volumes and costs for things such as building pads, pipelines, so either area-based improvements, length-based improvements, uh, count, so number of manholes and volume. So what we see here is we get our pricing done on volume and conversion rates to tons and we can go through our report and generate prices for bidding. So very useful information can be generated from within the takeoff module within Business Center. There's also some very easy reporting for just creating a simple area length count report loading into Excel for example building pads. So let's here select by layer and select our residential building pads and we're also going to take some drainage information so we get some length based improvements and some counts for the manholes. Hit close, load these into Excel, hit OK and this will then give us a simple report that we can hand off as needed. So we see our count based report on number of manholes. We've also got length based report for, sl for slope length and plan length depending on what you need to cost on and our areas for our various building pads. If the line strings had names then those would also appear within the report. In a previous video we looked at how cut fill volumes can change as we adjust the height of the profile line using the CAD grips. Uh, what we can also do is in this example we've added in surface information for topsoil, soil and rock that we're having to cut through on a road and we can also see our design material so our crushed rock and our asphalt that we're laying on this road and what I would like to do is generate a report that gives us the volumes and areas of all this information. So to do that in the corridor menu we have a corridor earthwork report sorry that was on auto hide so in here we can select our corridor put in a change interval or station interval and from that generate a report in this case our options here I have to launch this into Excel this will give us more data than running the concise report which only gives total area so launch Excel hit OK and OK once more and this will then generate a report for us which initially gives us our cross-sectional area for each section those two areas for cut are then averaged multiplied by our 20 meter distance and we then get our cut or fill volume so cubic meters that's then broken down into the respective categories for topsoil soil and rock and we then also get all the other information in a similar manner for our design materials such as our asphalt and type 1 and we also get that in square meters so depending on how we're getting paid we have the information that we need all in one very simple to run report within the drafting module in business center it's very common for users to need to print off cross sections to hang on the wall or file away in a cabinet to look at at a later date these can be for design related activities or to see or get build on what you've constructed today and how that compares to design. So in this example we can see we can add a whole lot of text to our sections. We can view cross-sectional area for various materials that show up in our section view and we can also then report cut fill deviations and elevations as desired. So this can be done simply by editing a template or dragging a template into Business Center and then applying that to a corridor model very simple to bring in and then generate profile plan views or cross-section views as needed. This can also be utilized for plotting mass hall diagrams. 
and creating detailed plan or mixed view outputs with contours and automated dimensioning, including labeling of curves. Now, not everyone works in English, so if you happen to be working in Iceland, for example, you can also set up the template to uh, cater for local languages as needed and for any other localization that you happen to need. And if you happen to be working with utilities or wanting to print more than one cross section to a page, again, easily to work with. Here we see we've got our existing proposed and work in progress being modeled in section view. And we can also see where our utility, so our storm and electrical are. And this is just by utilizing CAD symbols um, to fill in where our lines appear in the section view. These cross sections that we get out of Business Center can then be printed off to PDF so that you can print them off and put them on the wall. So just like we had in Business Center, we can then look at that same information and print that and file it as we need or send it to other members of our uh, work. There's also abilities to create 3D PDFs to allow people who do not run CAD programs or Business Center to easily visualize the 3D view and see how various models interact with each other. Some of the other useful features within the drafting module is the ability to create tables. So in this example we have a range of, we're back to our takeoff work again, I can create a section areas so we're going to get here our various uh, building pads reported into a table. So what I can look at doing is we've created in the background a table type which gives us the name, perimeter and the area. I'll delete the large area that's useful if you're working for hectares and push OK and I can then select to place that here on my plan view. And what I can then do is say, select by layer, take my residential building pads, which we see highlighted in plan, close, and we could give them number if we wanted to, um, and hit add. And we have, because I've named these already, lot one, two, three, four, and five with their various distance areas around the boundary and then the area of each building pad. If you also wanted to create tables for points and lines that's available in there as well. So some very cool commands within the drafting menu for plotting out plan views. And with that, that concludes the calculation and billing video. Uh, as you're probably aware, there are a range of other reports you can run within Business Center that have been there for a very long time and are also very useful to use.